What all do you pull? You just do uh, uh mainly we all we do is jet engines. Uh, oh y'all haul jet engines? Yeah, we haul jet engines or wing components, landing gear, uh anything related to a plane, that's what we haul. Welcome back to the channel, man. D Dyke. Got a treat for y'all right now. Peterbilt. Sick as hell. Check it out. Oh, yeah. So this guy's been sitting over here. We're at the airport. Look at this sleeper, man. Look at this unit. This thing is bad ass. This thing is awesome. Off the chain. Golly. I don't know what this guy be pulling. But whatever it is, he's definitely an expert. That's for sure. Look at these fenders. pretty sweet setup right here man now if I had a sleeper like this I'm staying over the road ain't no need to be home man look how shiny that is right there and you already know 8 inch pipes baby 8 inch pipes this ain't no dummy stacks man when you see that see that black cloud right there that black stain you know it's real you know it's real, man. You know it's real. Don't play around now. Golly. These headlights are my favorite headlights. I ain't gonna lie to y'all right here. Well, I love these headlights, man. And grill is hard, too, man. God, ain't nothing like a Peterbilt profile. But I never seen a, I've never seen a sleeper this size up close in person, man. This thing is sweet. Guys, look at this shifter, man. I'm not even in the truck. You see where I'm standing? God, this thing is clean, man. Y'all been asking me, man, can I do another interview with one of these guys, man? I told y'all it, it's just the luck of the straw. I just so happen to be at work, and I seen this bad boy parked up to the side, so figure I'll take a look at it. Man, is it cool if I hop up? Y'all, check this out. First and foremost, my man's seat is low to the floor. Hey, can you see like this, man? Why y'all ride with y'all seat so low? That ain't low, for real. That's not low, baby. Nah? Nah, that's a regular base seat. Dang. If you're low base, you've been that far on the floor. That's how low they are. Golly, man. And hey, what's your name, brother? Chris. Chris, I'm Dimitri, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Chris. Driver name is Chris, y'all. Talk to Chris in a minute, man. Oh, dang. I can get used to this. Hey, Chris, I can get used to this, man. <laughs> <laughs> dang. Boy, I tell you, ain't nothing like the hood of a Peterbilt. I'm sitting up in a nice peak right now, baby. We're at the airport, man. Look at this steering wheel right here. All gauges. You got to have all gauges, baby. I love the all gauges package. But this joint right here?
This is through the roof right here. Dang, look at this. This thing is sick, man. This thing is stupid. So Chris, if you don't mind, man, just talk a little bit about the truck for us, man. Uh, the 2007. 2007. So that's the that's the good year. Yeah, it's uh, got almost a million seven hundred thousand miles on it. So uh, got a cat. Used to be an Acer single turbo now. 18 speed. Oh wow. It's uh, now like the 6 nz single turbo without the compounds on it. Oh okay. I bet she roars too, huh? Yeah, it does pretty good, man. She uh, when I had it rebuilt, this torque just got almost. 700,000 miles on when I had it rebuilt the end frame originally it put 653 back there. Oh my goodness man. Golly. Oh, somewhere about 800 horse up there on the flywheel. Okay. 775, 800, something like that. Oh y'all hear that? Chris ain't playing man. He really out here. He really out here. Now let me ask you Mr. Chris. What all do you pull? You just do uh, uh mainly all we do is jet engines. Uh, oh y'all haul jet engines? Yeah we haul jet engines or wing components, landing gear, uh, anything related to a plane, that's what we haul. Oh, okay, so you pretty much do plane hauling stuff, yeah, I guess. 90% of the engines. You they, know, I've always wondered what it would be like to uh, haul a jet engine. Can you talk a little bit about that yeah, real quick? No different. Really no well. different? Well, I mean, it is different. Uh, they got to be chained properly. You got to have massive insurance to haul them. But, I mean, Holy like smokes. Chain it down, tarp it, and go. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hauled a uh, seven, uh, a Boeing seven triple seven engine? Yes, yeah, we hauled that's a GE ninety. Yeah, hey, if y'all don't know, the Boeing seven triple seven have the largest engines on the two, uh, uh, two engine uh, jet by far. If y'all know nothing about aviation, the Boeing seven triple seven. Look it up, Google it. GE ninety, big boy. Oh, we're contracting the GE up there, so we, we and where do you haul them to? Like, just they go from where we haul them from is people go out out to every Washington where they put on the plane out there pulling. Oh, okay, so you're here right now in Atlanta. You picking up uh, what are you picking up here? Picking up uh, a CF6, it's like it goes on the 737. Okay, okay, man, this is cool, man. And how long you been doing this? I've been over here with them uh, 10 years, 10 years, okay, so you love it, man. And you just stay in this bad boy right here, huh? Yeah, when I ain't home, I'm going back. <laughs> where do you stay at? I live in Texas. Oh, that's why he's got the big sleeper, y'all. You know what I mean? Everything is big in Texas, man. Yeah, that's why he got the big sleeper, man. Y'all see it? Yeah, I guess it is true. Man, I know you feel some type of way. It's like everybody moving to Texas, man. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. yeah Texas, Florida. Yeah, I hear it. Golly, man. How long you been trucking in general? You have to think about it. That means you're a legend. Yeah. If you gotta think about it, you're a legend. You've been out here for a minute. Out here for, uh, I bought my first one in uh, 2006, so I've been been running it a while. Oh, okay. I worked on it before that, and kind of flip flop back and forth between driving for people, and then got my own or had help get my own. So, so you own an operator now? Damn. Yeah, you have to build here at Southern Prize. I say you need to hit these other guys up when they come in here, man. You think this truck's big, man? This no, ain't nothing. This ain't nothing, man. And what? It, they're newer and fancier, shinier. Yeah. I bet they don't sound as good as this joint, though. Yeah, this got mufflers in it now, but it, it yeah, it's uh, I used to have it straight. But I put mufflers in the stack there. I got tired of hearing it. Oh uh, man. Yeah, man. You need to. I don't know how how long this job's gonna last, but you'll see another one if you pay attention down here. They'll I'll be looking out. Them. I'll be looking yeah. out for sure, for sure. The man. other place you can find them is go back Loop Road over here. You see that tower? Uh huh. There's a there's a Delta that's on the uh, Minor Jackson. You know the one that goes. Like I know the exactly. What, I know. There, yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. As soon as you cross in, as soon as you cross over on the Minor Jackson, there's like a like a little get off right there, and that's a Delta. You can watch them. You can find them in there too. <sighs> we pick up a lot there, and we'll park in there waiting on engines too. So. 
do it. This is cool. Well, here, there, that's, I'm sure there's other places, but since they blocked this dirt lot off down there, we can't go there. So. How would you get into like hauling like for like airline stuff? Like, how did you get into that? I, uh, it's just a company I did, and the company did it. I mean, they're they're the ones that handle all the Dang. logistics. Cause you would think hauling engines, man, and airplane parts, that ain't nothing to play with. No, I mean it's it's. it's Cause those are million dollar parts, man. Yeah, it's expensive, man. That ninety you talk about is about thirty million dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the last number I knew. With everything being high as it is now, maybe right. maybe beyond that, but it's about thirty million dollars. Jesus! That we put back there on the trailer and haul. So. And y'all, it's it's covered up pretty well. It's not y'all don't carry y'all don't haul them uh, open like. No, yeah, we do. We put a. Big ass tarps back there. Yeah, so y'all tarp, tarp it. Tarp on it, but I'm yeah. telling you, it's just open on the trailer. I wonder what, I'm trying to imagine it on the trailer, what it looked like. Just it don't get up to the high as the uh, sleeper, do it? Yeah, they're uh, they're 14 six high on that trailer. Almost 15 foot tall sitting on that trailer. Damn, yeah, that's we cool. Them, we're, we're 13 feet wide and 14 six high. And that's cool, y'all. This is cool, man. Yeah, I'm loading up over there across the, on the other side of the airport at uh, UPS over there. So. And you gonna be heading to Washington? No, this is just going to Chicago. Be put on a plane. Oh, okay, Chicago. Yeah. It's going to from here to Chicago. They'll put it on a plane, fly it overseas, wherever it's going. <laughs> you just haul, baby. You yeah, just pick like, a haul, man. You, don't know, you never know where it's going when it goes in the airport, man. It'll be going to China or Hong Kong, freaking it. You never know. Man, y'all, Mr. Chris is cool as hell, man. He really out here doing it, man. Oh man, what's your favorite thing about this truck, Chris? That sleeper. sleeper? Yeah. I've never seen one up close. I've seen them on the road, but I've never seen one up close like this, man. Yeah, I've been able to be back there and have what you need. It's, we do a lot of what you're seeing right here. On site somewhere, no facilities, no shower, no, you know, yeah. nothing to eat. So we, you don't have to. There's guys over here that don't have it, but I mean, it sure makes it nice. I mean, because yeah. you know, we do sit in some right here. Right. I mean, there ain't even no roach goes around here right. today, man. So, right. I mean, it, it helps. It makes it a whole lot nicer. Still ain't home, but yeah. it makes it better. Do you go home often? No, not very often. No? Uh, but when I do go home, I stay for extended periods, too. I'll go home for four, five, six weeks at a time. Okay. I'll stay out three or four months before I do it. So. Oh, you stay out for three months at a time? Yeah. Oh, you a badass, Chris. Yeah, three or four. I mean, I've, you know, I've been out as long as six months at a time, man. Man, y'all, Chris is the man, y'all. If y'all see Chris on the road, man, y'all make sure y'all give him some love, man. Super, super humble guy, man. Just take pride in what he do. And the first thing he said was, man, the truck's dirty. I'm like, nah, man, it's a work truck, man. It ain't, ain't dirty, man. Ain't even polished. It ain't even get Evan detail polish that thing up, man. Shout out to Evan, man. Follow Evan. Evan's a cool oh, guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Evan's a cool guy. I've always man. been wanting to go up there and get polished, man. Yeah. yeah man, I never made it. It's all good. You ever go to any truck shows? Nah, I don't, I don't make no. truck shows. I mean, I'll go, but I don't, I don't ever put my stuff in it, man. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm putting your shit on my video, man. Nobody wants to see this whole thing. Nah, man. I want to see this whole thing. I'm on, I'm on the clock right now. You know what I'm saying? My bosses didn't see this. I might get in trouble. <laughs> but I love trucks, man. How often you come down here, Chris? Uh, man, it depends. Sometimes we're in here, or I'll be in here a lot. It's hit and miss, or we, you know, sometimes it'll be back and forth, and then it might be six months before I'm here. You never know. Damn. We're uh, we contracted or contract with Delta too, right. so we're okay. in and out here all the time. That's Delta, saying, Delta calls, man. You gotta go. If you're around, man, you'll, Big you'll Delta. find these trucks here. You know, so. What's the craziest shit you ever hauled in your life? I ain't never really hauled nothing crazy, man, to be honest with you. Or uh, surprising. Something that made you say, man, that was cool. I guess the first time I hauled that 90. That 90? Yeah, yeah. that 90. Yeah. Man, I want to see that 90 yeah, up close. It's pretty impressive, man, when you see them. It... And then when you see them on the wing of a plane, it's like, man, that thing looks little on the plane. <laughs> but if you're looking at it on the truck, like, yeah, when you see them on the plane, it's like, man, that thing ain't that. Is that the 90? Yeah, that's the 90. <laughs> That's cool as hell, man. But yeah, I, we don't, I ain't hauling nothing, I don't guess. When I first started hauling though, man, yeah, they're pretty impressive. They're freaking huge. Man. Well, Mr. Chris, I'm not going to hold you up, man. It was a pleasure to talk to you, man. Pleasure yes, to man. check out your beautiful yeah, rig, man. This thing is sweet. Uh, every time I do one of these videos, man, I always say, man, I appreciate y'all for real. Well, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. The trucking industry, it'd be like. I appreciate you too. I did that shopping. Man, without you, I wouldn't have a contract. So, you know, it worked both ways, dude. It worked both ways, man. For real, man. I appreciate what y'all do, man. Be safe out here, man. And uh, right, man. You too. just take your time out here, man. Any um words of wisdom for anyone young trying to get into the industry? Man, anyone because young? it's like it's like a lot of people are saying, don't get in the industry. Get in the industry. Don't get it. What's what side do you fall on? I wouldn't discourage anybody from getting in it. Man. I mean, right. You follow your heart. I mean, right. If it's something you want to do, you can, if, if it's something for you, it's for you. It doesn't matter. All the rest of it's just. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I want to hear. You know, all the rest of it just goes up saying the the traffic and the aggravation. But I mean, if it's something you like to do, I mean, it's just gonna be what you're gonna do. So, That's right. I wouldn't discourage anybody from getting in it, man. I mean, yeah. try it. I jumped out there when I was young too, man. So did all of us. Right. You know, you had to jump in there one feet first and one point just to see where it takes you. Just to see where it takes you. Just to see where it takes you.